Hello everybody and welcome to this webcast with the title High Pressure Heat Treatment. My name is Dr. Johan Järne and I work as a Global Business Development Manager for Quintus Technologies. Quintus Technologies has been delivering state-of-the-art hot and cold isostatic presses across the globe for the past 50 years. For many years, hot isostatic pressing has been used for consolidation of powder and removal of porosity from castings. Quintus Technologies has now redefined its hip process by combining it with heat treatment, thus enabling a one-step post-process for investment castings, metal injected molding, or the fast-growing area of metal additive manufacturing. This process is called high-pressure heat treatment. Quintus high-pressure heat treatment systems are the first systems that offer quenching with pressures up to 2070 bars. Thanks to these advances, Quintus Hip Technologies has a vital role to play in the production chain of powder-based additive manufacturing. The main markets of interest for high-pressure heat treatment is aerospace, medical implants, energy, as well as automotive. Already today, high-pressure heat treatment are used both within the aerospace market as well as for the medical implant market, where investment costings are quenched in Quintus hip systems to achieve the proper material properties. With the flexibility in product design, shorter manufacturing processes, and possibilities to optimize material usage, metal-based additive manufacturing grows extensively in all these industry segments. However, to get the material properties needed, there is a requirement for thermal post-processing or heat treatment, which until today has been time-consuming and costly. With the latest development from Quintus Technologies, the thermal post-processing, called high-pressure heat treatment, can be drastically reduced, which keeps 3D printing a flexible and fast production technology. High-pressure heat treatment is highly relevant to the fast-growing AM industry since parts produced from powder needs HPHT to eliminate porosity and achieve the material properties wanted. Metal AM is now going from a state where it has been used for prototype manufacturing to full production, which increase the demands in achieving the same material properties from part to part where high-pressure heat treatment plays a significant role to reduce the scatter of the material properties in the final part. Due to this, it will be extremely important to have control over the full production chain from powder to finished part for the demanding markets where metal AM will be used. Controlling the full production chain is as important as controlling the 3D printing process itself. High-pressure heat treatment is a natural part of the metal AM production chain. If we look at a conventional post-process for an additively manufactured part, it contains stress relieving for removal of the part from the build plate, as well as removing internal stresses, hot isostatic pressing for removing the porosity in the product, solution heat treatment for material properties and aging to fine-tune the material properties. Typically these four steps are performed in four different furnaces and typically all or parts of this process is outsourced to companies that offer heat treatment services. As is rather evident this turns the agile AM process to a slow process where main benefits such as short lead times and cost effectiveness is lost. Another issue is that it will be very costly and difficult to have full process control over the full production chain. With a high pressure heat treatment system from Quintus Technologies, temperatures up to 2000 degrees C and pressures up to 2070 bar can be run independently and above all, quenching with cooling rates in excess of 500 degrees C per minute can be achieved. This means that all or selected parts of the heat treatment process can be performed in one and the same system. The major benefits with this is diminished downtime and lead time, excellent process control, reduced total process cost, improved quality control, 
and beneficial effects on the microstructure since the material is only heated once. Not only is it beneficial from cost, lead time and quality perspective, quenching under pressure actually has proven effects on material properties as well as phase transformations for hardened and tempered steel alloys. When the high pressure remains during quenching, it has been shown that there is a slower phase transformation kinetics in the iron carbon system. This delays perlite transformation, which leads to that lower cooling rates are needed. It also increases the hardenability. In principle, this means that the quench rate does not need to be as fast while doing it under pressure. In addition, the high density gas gives a high heat transfer between the gas and the component surfaces. Also, there is a continuous cooling of the component where a temperature distribution can be controlled throughout the whole process. This will give you lower thermal gradients, lower thermal stresses and lower risks of cracks or distortions if you compare, to example, with salt bath quenches or water bath quenches. During the last 2-3 years, Quintus Technologies has evaluated and studied high pressure heat treatment on several materials and has come to the following conclusions. High pressure heat treatment for titanium aluminide has proven to be successful for casted, mimed and additively manufactured produced material in terms of microstructure and mechanical properties. The T6 heat treatment of aluminum alloys can be performed with high pressure heat treatment and yield the same results or better than conventional T6. High pressure heat treatment has proved to be successful for increasing ultimate and tensile strength for additively manufactured titanium 64 as well as having the ability to break down the columnar grain structure. For casted nickel-based superalloys, the quench possibility in the hip results in a fine and homogeneous distribution of gamma prime particles, which require no additional solution heat treatment. Quintus has developed a series of compact high-pressure heat treatment systems directly applicable for markets like aerospace, medical implants and automotive, where smaller parts made from metal AM investment castings or metal injected molding will draw great benefit from the possibility to apply high pressure heat treatment. These compact systems can be used both for R&D and material development as well as be used for production. The systems are delivered as plug and play units where the whole system has been functionally tested in the Quintus workshop before delivery. The control systems are easy to use with data acquisition and reporting cap capabilities. All systems are portable for easy mobility on site. All systems are delivered with the possibility to reuse the process gas to save cost. Looking at the compact series from Quintus Technologies, they are extremely effective in comparison to the AM machines on the market today. One compact high pressure heat treatment system from Quintus can handle the production from 10 to 20 metal AM machines, a little bit depending on size. Looking at one of the smallest production machines, the QIH-15L, it has a cycle time which is around 2.5 hours plus the whole time. The payload per cycle is 25 kg, the hot zone size is 186 mm in diameter and has a height of 500 mm. The operating cost per cycle for this machine, including 2 hours hold time, personnel plus pairs and wares, is 80 euros, and this includes the solution heat treatment. Looking at the QIH48, which is the biggest machine in the compact series, the cycle time is 3 hours and 45 minutes plus the hold time. The payload per cycle is 200 kilograms, and the hot zone diameter is 375 millimeters and the height 1200 mm. The operating cost for this cycle is 150 euros and this includes solution heat treatment. Summary. The major benefits of high pressure heat treatment are elimination of porosity and possibility to heat treat in one process step. 
you will get an excellent process control. You will reduce the total process cost. You will improve the quality control of your final parts. You will diminish the downtime and lead time of the post-process. And you will have beneficial effects on the microstructure.